Also, Viga Queens take to the pitch for their second calf Women's Champions League group game against Asfa from Morocco in what feels like a must-win game for the Kenyan representatives who lost their opener to Mamelo de Sundowns by a goal. Mukami Wambora is in Cairo, Egypt, and she tells us more about the Queen's Moroccan opponents ahead of the crucial clash. The story of Asfa Women's Club from Morocco is one of a patient and steady climb rewarded with unbridled success. Formed in 2001, it took the side seven years to finally earn promotion to the elite first division in 2008. It took the side another four years to be crowned Moroccan champions in the 2012-2013 season. Since then, they've managed eight back-to-back -back titles. Their nickname, the Militaries, is apt in defining their club philosophy and style of play. Hard work, discipline and teamwork. Qualities that they showed in spades in their opening CAF Women's Champions League match, making light work of Nigerian champions River Angels with striker Sanam Sadi bagging all three goals. Uh, did exactly what the coaches asked them to and uh, and when whatever they did in the field it paid off and they had a very good uh, performance and a very good uh, result Patrick hero Sana positive and confident ahead of tomorrow's game with as far as head coach having done his homework uh, it's not going to be an easy match, but they're going to do whatever it takes to leave a mark and to go to the finals. He respects uh, Vega Queens and all the teams, and he will make sure that he will uh, be able to the, the weakness, and he knows the strengths and weakness points of the team. Vihiga Queen's captain Enes Mango and her backline will have their work cut out, but the Vihiga Queen's have plans in place to not only stop them, but to also overcome them. They are fast and we should not allow, we should win the second balls very quick. Because for us to win the game, we must attack and attack and attack. Because if we sit back deep in our half, then we are far from the opponent's goal. So for tomorrow's strategy, we are going to attack, attack and attack. Asfa are no doubt a formidable side, but with Vihiga Queens having a history of succeeding when backed against the wall, a victory against the Moroccans is certainly on the cards. Mukami Wambora reporting for Citizen TV from the 30th June Stadium in Cairo, Egypt.